Until her demise, Agnes Tirop smashed the 10-kilometer world record, held gold in world cross country that she won in 2015, back to back, 10,000 meters bronze medalist and senior world cross country team girl. Senators have now demanded a statement from the Ministry of Sports on measures it is taking to protect the country's athletes who are the pride of the nation thanks to their eye-catching performance on the track. Kenya has lost a young and promising hero who at the age of 25 years had brought so much glory to her country whose future was set to win gold medals and break more world records, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, in honor of the slain athletes, I shall continue to pursue the welfare of our sportsmen and women and also the interest of sports managers, such as contracts to coaches, legal framework to facilitate in investments, taxation, COVID-19, cushion measures, training here with improved training facilities, and also starting sportsmen and women social welfare. According to the senators, Kenya has lost a jewel who was one of the fastest rising athletics giants on the international stage. And therefore, Madam Speaker, these people need guidance, they need counseling, they need therapy all the time as a program, not only when things, when things go wrong. These are young people, and Madam Speaker, we know something they call the folly of youth that we need to take into account. Even sports managers, the people who are at the athletics uh, house, what are they doing to deal with this problem? I condemn the murder of Agnes Tirop, and may her soul rest in peace even as we continue to seek justice for her and other victims of gender-based violence. Labor and Social Welfare Committee Chairman Johnson Sakaja said they will invite all the sports federation and players' representatives to develop a draft legislation with a view to reaching out and helping sports persons. Part of the plans we have as a committee is to do a three, four day retreat with the federations, not just the ministry. We start with the federations, we want the players' representatives of our key sports, our key, you know, you know our athletes, football rugby, a few of them, um, just to also get their side of what is happening. And finally, that I'm extremely passionate about this because I'm the son of an athlete, mm -hmm. son of a champion. My mother was a 1971 East Africa 200 meters champion. So I know what it means. Yes, in 1970, Commonwealth for this country. So when you see me running, me, I don't run now in the field. I run for office. Sakaja said Athletics Kenya, AK, is already preparing a workshop on mental in early December, during which athletes will be invited for a candid session to identify issues affecting them with a view to formulating solutions to the same. Elgeo Marakot Senator Kipchumba Murkomen Mond Tirop, as he stated that it is more painful that Kenyan heroine lost her young life through a criminal act and exploitation to someone she trusted. And there is a silent killer that, is, that we must say, Madam Speaker. There are a lot of people who are preying on our athletes. They know they have won gold medals in the world. They know they have gone to New York Marathon, they have won. They come and pretend to be extending help to them. And Madam Speaker, they end up having either relationships, they begin even registering properties for these ladies, Madam Speaker, young girls of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, in their own name. In fact, as the investigation is going on, we are also aware, as was uh, uh, said by the family to us, that the property of this lady was already registered in the name of the suspected murderer and that this person had already you know, appropriated most of her, her property. On Tuesday, an autopsy was conducted that revealed Agnes Tirop's life was ended by a stab on the neck. The post-mortem examination, which was done by two pathologists at the Eton County Referral Hospital Mochery, also revealed that the international athlete was hit on the head with a blunt object. The autopsy came just a day after the prime suspect in the killing, Ibrahim Rotic, was arraigned at the Eton Lookouts, where senior principal magistrate Charles Couture ordered his detention at the Eldoret Police Station for 20 days for the police to conclude investigation. After the autopsy, the family moved the body to Eldoret Hospital Mochari ahead of the burial in Cap Nyamisa village, Nandi County, on Saturday. Okay. Davis Mberia, Ebru News.